So, they've finally done it. After 55 years, England have made a final. It might actually just be coming home. Here's Mr Moore and some students with the roundup. Here we go, team. So, uh, another famous England victory. 2-1. Um, Who was correct with the predictions? Just you then, yeah. Nottie. Just you. Well done, chaps. Well good. Um, great performance. Strong performance. Felix, for you, what were the highlights? Uh, I thought Kane played very well, drawing fouls from the other team in like, important spaces, but he didn't make enough of it. But I thought Harry Maguire was amazing, just so solid all round. Yeah, they had stones at the back. They seemed to be what the defence, so the defence had been criticised the last two or three years, hasn't it? Mm. How, how come they got it together? What I don't know, it's just the way that people like Shaw and Stones have rebounded really good form yeah. again and they're just playing well for the club and yeah. country again. They are, aren't they? I mean, under Mourinho, that Shaw was criticised, not didn't play perhaps as often as he should have done, but all of a sudden, maybe a change of manager, a change of tack, don't know, maybe a change of attitude from him as well, maybe a realisation that he's got to do something different and that, that kind of kicks in, but what, he's had a great tournament, he's had a super tournament. Zach, what do you think? What was the best bits for you? I think... We played really well. The fence was really good, as usual. Harry, mm. Like Felix said, Harry Maguire, standout performer in the defence. And I think our defence helps us a lot because I don't think we can create them as many chances as we should be. Yeah. Certainly Shaw going wide one way on, on the left. It's been much talked about again with um, um, that, that link-up on, on that left-hand side with whoever's out there, really. But the, the link-up on that left side has been effective, balls across. Substitutions, Lottie, we said that they'd be, they have been good all the way through. Yeah. Talk me through what you're thinking about those substitutions. Mm, I'm glad Grealish came on. You're a Grealish fan now, aren't you? Um, but then his, his hand was injured, so he went off quite. Yeah. He wasn't on for long. I guess that could have been yeah. tactical as well, yeah. couldn't it? So they changed, they seem to have changed to a back five. Is, is that, mm. is that yeah. kind of what you thought? And so that having got a lead to then protect that lead, all of a sudden we've changed that a little bit so, and that maybe he was sacrificed for that. But you're right, he, he played well. Foden, Zach, good? He played well, didn't he play well. made the impact. Yeah, it's fantastic, wasn't it? Absolutely yeah. fantastic. It's a difficult to know why he's not got a start. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he played really well when it came on. But having said that, Sacco, yeah. Sacco, sorry, it, um, what a start to the game. How old is he? 20, he's 19, 19. 19. Nineteen, and we were talking in the office earlier. How how many times has he played in front of a big crowd in the last two years, two seasons? Mm. He's been, I suspect, playing in an empty stadium, mm. and all of a sudden, he's in, on an England stage at the age of nineteen. How old are you guys? Fifteen. You're gonna, are you going to make it at nineteen? For four years older than you, and and he's playing that well in an in an England shirt in, in a massive stadium in perhaps the most important game he's going to play. In. Line himself up for a final. Absolutely brilliant. So let's talk about the penalty. Yes or no, Lottie? No, but I'm glad we got it. <laughs> yeah, probably right. Is that? Yeah, I think it was a bit soft. Should have been a penalty. He made contact, didn't he? To be fair, it, yeah. there was contact. I, I don't think it was a penalty. You don't think it was a penalty? I think like, we got lots of other decisions given against us in the game. So yeah. What do you think, Felix? Weak, but I thought he did get trips and like. With your player like knocking his yeah. like, hip, and it's that dilemma, isn't there? Because sometimes you're going to get the, the rub of the green like we did last night with that penalty decision, and then others at the other end it's going to go against you. So, do you accept it when it happens? Do you, you accept the, the soft penalty? Take it as yeah, well, yeah. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why not indeed? Now then, what about stepping up for the penalty? Harry Kane playing well. Could, could you do I wouldn't do it. I've taken a few penalties in my time in a penalty competition, not at that level I hasten to add anywhere near. And I've, I've, it's dreadful, I hate it, I hate it. But come on, what's he feeling like? How's he going to do that? I don't think he was confident. When he was stepping up, he didn't look confident. What makes you say that? I don't know, just the way he walked up to the penalty, it didn't look like he knew where he was going to put it. Mm -hmm. thing. And you should always just pick your spot yeah. early. Is that your, is that your tactic, yeah, Tom? You, just pick got, your spot? You've got to know where you're going to put it, you can't just hit it as well. Excellent. What do you think, Zach? I think the same as Tom, he didn't look confident. It wasn't very placed, it just looked like he just went for a bit of power. Yeah. But luckily the power made the keeper spill it. How, how, much, how much do you put it down to good keeping or weak penalty, that's safe? Weak penalty. Weak penalty, you're going with weak penalty. But fortunate rebound back and calmly put away 2-1. And then they made those subs in there and the game changed a bit. 
Okay, so we're happy with England performance. Looking strong at the minute, still defensively okay. Lovely free kick that Denmark scored, but again, it wasn't from open play. So we managed to shut out an open play goal again. Fantastic. Let's move on then. One game to go. Is it coming home? Yeah. It is. We're still, yeah. we're still happy. Right, now what are, the, what are the issues going to be with Italy? How, what are they going to be? The good side. What do you think, Lucy? How do they play? What are they playing? What's their Just they're overall really strong. They are strong. They're a really passionate team. Yeah. So it'd be hard to break there. Yeah. Because they work really hard as a team. And that's probably the thing they're the best at. They seem to sit back a little bit and, and break quickly and they've got some players that are really fast and really talented and cutting inside for those shots on goal. I think it's difficult for Southgate whether he plays a back three or a five like he did against Germany or whether he goes for the four like he has because Italy sit quite deep. Mm. So. They do, don't they? Yeah. And, then, and then they've gone quickly. Um, what do you think, Felix? Are you feeling confident? Well, yeah, but I'm not very confident to have like, our kind of like left side of our defence because Shaw has been able to like come quite forward and right. like getting balls in the box but with Chiesa in their team he's going to really run at him and it might mean he'll talk back a bit more. So it might force him back and it might ex yeah. exploit the space if he has if he has gone forward. Yeah. Right, well we're, we're left with yet again the um, the prediction. The prediction. So Lottie, you're going first because you've got the last one right. 1-0 okay. England. Oh, I don't think I could cope with the 1-0 England. I was nervous enough as it was last night. So 1-0 England. I think one all, and then next time we score. Not doing any good for my heart, boys. Uh, I think it'll be one all, and then penalties in England. Oh, I can't do that. Definitely not. Two one England. Two one England. Yeah. Right, I'm joining you with that. Two one England. Yeah. I don't want to be wrong on my own. Um, I, just, I can't cope with that. Oh, one nil, and the last. I was useless. The last five ten minutes. Yeah. What a nervous moment. I think it's worse than being. Behind, actually, yeah. and if you're behind, you kind of you can throw caution to the wind, as we, that phrase we've used before. But you can go for it, and you, nothing to lose. But if you've got that, just wow, well, I hope you're right. <laughs> but a, a win would do. And I don't want penalties at all. We don't want penalties. So there's your predictions then. England, Italy, Sunday. We've all gone for an England win, which is good news. Which is good news, even though Italy are really strong. Um, and we hope that. Uh, we hope that the manager's got his tactical head on and got it right. He's got it right so far, to be fair to him. Um, Southgate has been a fantastic it's manager. So far. By people who questioned him and he's shown that he's he doing it. And made some tough decisions, not playing Foden, not playing Grealish, when the, when the pressure was on him to do that. Yeah. And he's, who can say he's wrong so far? Well done, team. OK, England win, Italy, Sunday. Now, here's an interview by me and Mr Moore with Hugh Merriman about England's Euro campaign. So, we're joined here with Hugh Merriman. Thank you for joining us, Hugh. Very nice to see you. Um, I've heard a rumour that you are a big football fan. Is this rumour true? It's definitely true. I'm a mad football fan. So, uh, well, good. sorry, not a mad football fan. I'm mad for football, yeah. Good. So, I assume you watched Wednesday night, the semi-final between England and Denmark. Can we get your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought it was really cagey. Um, very nerve-wracking for everyone. Uh, was it a penalty? Who cares? We'll take a bit of luck. Uh, and also, I'm an Arsenal fan, so I was absolutely delighted that Saka lined up the first goal, which was, of course, an own goal. So, yeah, and amazing. It's the first time in my lifetime that I've seen England get through to a final, so I'm terribly excited. Yeah, it's the same for me. I've never seen I was heartbroken after the 2018 semi-final. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this final on uh, Sunday now. So, uh what do you think about Italy, our opponents? How do you think they've done through the tournament? What are your signs of views on them? They're really solid. Actually, Italian sides are always really solid, but this one is also pretty creative and can score goals. So I think we've got a lot to be concerned about. Um, I must admit I'd rather have picked Spain uh, because they fell apart against Croatia and were lucky to get through. So I would have fancied us to, to score more goals against Spain than I do against Italy. I think it will be really cagey. None of us will have any fingernails left. Uh, but, um, you know, I think we'll still have enough because we're playing at Wembley and there's massive momentum behind us. And we've just got to make sure that our football team know that they're as good, if not better, than Italy on the night. So who would you say is our main person to rely on on Sunday night? Because obviously we've got very solid defence, we've got a, a great attack, but... Who do you think has been our standout player and who do you think will really drive the team forward on Sunday night? So I thought you might ask me that, Zach. And actually, I was going to struggle 
and actually in a way that's the great thing about this team it is a team it's really hard to pick out one individual that has ever carried the team because they've they've carried each other um so you know we rely on Kane to to come good for the key moments he's just started scoring now after a slow start but our, our back line is solid including our goalkeeper uh the fullbacks have been absolutely superb Shaw has been re a revelation um, our midfielders in Phillips and Rice have been absolutely solid. I, I would probably pick out Phillips because he's just come of age. He hasn't really played that much for England before, but he looks like he's been there for years. Um, and then, of course, you know the, the, the front line. We know that Sterling will play, Kane will play, who else will play? I hope it will be Saka because I'm a biased Arsenal fan. Uh, but we've got great options in, in Foden. Uh, and we've also got options in Sancho. So, like, it's so strong. I can't pick out one man because I think I'd do disservice to the rest. Yeah, I agree. It's a very strong squad. And I feel we've got to work as a squad to really get at Italy, if that makes sense. Like, if we don't work together, then it will all fall apart because that Italian team is very different from other Italian teams. You know, in the years you've seen Italy be very defensive, but this time they're very... Uh, offensive so we do need to work as a team and just make sure we get our tactics right so I do think you're right that you can't really pick on one player to probably not be the main man but you do hope they work as a team almost yeah and actually that's the thing Italy do work as a team and actually we feel quite Italian in our mindset now uh, I've watched previous England teams where they just you just never really felt confident that they really believed in themselves this this crop absolutely believe that they can smash it and i think they were you have some questions don't you yeah just a couple of questions for me really how, how important do you think gareth southgate is in the uh, in the performance of that group so far they seem to come together at the moment just at the right time so is his role important yeah i was going to say that to zach as well so i'm glad you've asked me that i think that uh every team needs a good leader do they not miss barlow uh, and uh, he is that good leader for for England. Actually, what I really like about him is he's so calm. There's a lot of humility. He just comes across as someone that's got steel, but is also an incredibly good person that really wants the best. So I remember listening to one of his press conferences and, and he was asked to single out players, but he started by singling out those players that had not played and what a role they've, they've played in training, in motivating the, the players that were playing. And you think, you know, no wonder everyone wants to work so hard for him because he just looks after that uh, team and really sort of leads from the front. And, um, you know, he takes the criticism if that's what he feels is needed. There hasn't been much, which has been nice during this uh, run. Uh, and, yeah, I think he's a talisman and uh, a wonderful person and, um, you know, a, an asset to, to, to the country as well as to this team. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So what what are your what are your what are your predictions? What's going to happen Sunday night? What's the what's the scoreline? Who are the likely scorers? Well, I suppose it's everyone's going to say, oh well, it will go to it will go to penalties. Uh, but actually, I don't I don't think so. I think we're going to avoid penalties this time. Penalties are just for sort of semi-finals in the past. Um, so I think we are going to win. I think we're going to win two one. But I do think it will go to extra time. So I think that uh, the nails will still be bitten. But I think we'll do it. And in terms of who do I think will score for us, obviously I'll leave the Italians to sit there and score it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you've got to fancy Kane for one of those two goals. Uh, and then I'm going to go for a bullet header from a corner from Harry Maguire. So that's specific <laughs> for you. Obviously, Saka supplying one of those balls for either the bullet header or for you. Absolutely. Do you know, he's amazing. He's also a real a young lad who's worked yep. so hard, got his A's at school, so he got his head down at school. Uh, and just you wouldn't think that you know he's only been playing for England for a short would, period of time, as, I, as with many others. Yeah, so I wondered at that age and with the last year and a bit that we've gone through, how many times has he played in front of a crowd of that size? And he's coped with that incredibly well. Yeah, he has, and uh, you know, again, they're fearless. But that that doesn't just come from them as individuals. That comes from the whole team mentality, the team ethic, from the manager, all the support from the country as well. That's. That's why I just don't feel that the Itali even the Italians can stop us now because this momentum is really building. And as you said, you know, and obviously they've had this in Italy as well. We've had a really tough time over the last 18 months. And, um, you know, to see our players just be so fearless and want to put something back to the country is an inspiration to us all.
Excellent, excellent. I'm going to join you with a two-one. So at least I'm not on my own there. But we both got it wrong in that case, unfortunately for you, Hugh. Um, Zach, oh, I I've avoided predictions the whole tournament just because I don't want to get my hopes up. But I would have to say, I agree with you. It'll be a nail-biting game. It will be horrible, but I reckon we will win one nil after extra time. It will be scrappy maybe not the most enjoyable game to watch but it's going to be a hard watcher but one more to England so I, I agree with Zach in the sense that I, I don't think it will be the prettiest game out there um, I mean the, 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 the teams defend really well they might cancel each other out so I, I agree with that so Hugh I guess we just have one question left and it is the big one on everyone's mind is it coming home it definitely is coming home and I should also just say that above my uh, shop um, my office here in Bex Hill. There's a Welsh flag that's flying. It's not my flag. Um, someone knocked on the door the other day to criticise that I wasn't being very patriotic. It's the. It belongs to the people that own the flat above here, but it goes <laughs> above my name, which is spelled H-U-W, which is Welsh, even though I'm born in England. So football is coming home, and I'm not trying to deliberately provoke everyone by suggesting that uh, it's coming to Wales. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming home, it's coming home, it's coming home.